Hello. IS-4 has released, and this will be my first run on it. We don't have an easy difficulty anymore, and I guess we still have 15 extra difficulties. Unless I'm wrong and I can click it now. Yeah, let's check. Yeah, I guess... We don't have an easy difficulty anymore. Everything is locked on the first run. I think we don't have the dice power anymore. If we're looking at the icons, these three look different from what we had before. This is the extra lives power, so we start with 10 lives. What? Random is locked. My favorite start. Okay, we'll go with Vigna. May and Jaya. That's always consistent. I'm a bit too lazy to actually translate things as I go, so we'll just play blind for the first run. This probably gives everything attack speed. There's some mechanic to do with temperature. But yeah, we don't have keys anymore. Do we have an emergency? Something that I can tell is that we can tell this is an encounter, right? Even though this is in the fog, unknown fog. We have swords on these two, so they should be fights while this is an encounter. That's kind of interesting. We still have the dots that lets us cross, but we don't have any keys. Let's see how that works. We have chests, they have health, so we have to kill them. I assume this gives two ingots because it doesn't have any other effects. Hi. Like thorns or walking away. These are holes. I can see this stage being kind of scary at higher difficulties if you have to deal with the axe dudes and the second one doesn't AFK. Since their attack is super high. Oh, it's 3 axe dudes too. Yeah, this looks kind of scary for a uh, 4-1 stage. Since these dudes have uh, about a thousand based attack. I wonder if we'll have the same difficulty scaling we had in IS3 where every difficulty adds 1% health and attack per floor. This is some kind of one-time buff, I guess. Like the buffs from... IS2. I'll translate them later and I'll explain what they do. I'm too lazy to do it now. I'll just play completely blind for the first run. So are the ship just AFK or are they extra wood? Because they kind of remind me like the ship from a different event. So they start running faster if you hit them. Or if they... Yeah, if they're in the vision of an operator they start moving. There was an event where you gather resources 
I don't remember what it's called, but we'll get it soon in the end. The ship remind me from on on that to that event. They have similar mechanics, and you have to kill them there to get meat. Let's heal Vigna. Kind of high health. A new one may just better be kills. But they don't have the attack buffs yet, so that enemy shouldn't be too much of a problem. Once we have the attack buffs you get from the IS. Yeah, they accelerate the moment they enter an operator's range. That's kind of cool. As a mechanic. E2 may or get pinecone. I prefer E2 ink operators first. It's more DP efficient. So we can go down. But what will we cost me. Yeah, I have some resource that I need for this, but I'm not sure where it's represented. That's kind of interesting. We have two shop nodes for some reason. Well, functionally it doesn't matter. Oh, it's over here where it says three. So is, this is going to go down to two, right? Was this hope? Um, let's just click the thing that says ingots on it. Nah, it's not hope. Yeah, it lowered the temperature to 2. I have no idea what that me means, of course. I assume we'll get a code depot for something. We will see. Same map we had before, but now with these dudes are edits. Their defense is very low, so even on E1, Vigna can kill them pretty easily. We'll have Jaya fight the axe dude here. Let's see if they do enough damage too. Nah, not a chance. If they had an infinite amount of heals, they would kill him eventually. Because he doesn't heal all the way. But it would take them 20 minutes. The emergency isn't too different. The hammers are just replaced with elites. Well, axes. This is the item that gives us 50 attack speed at one life. Oh, so I can do it again. That's kind of interesting. We'll save it for later. We still have the shop to invest in goods. A book to upgrade the sniper. We no longer have the option to reroll the shop. We'll 
we'll get this so we can get a better medic. I have no idea what medics are good. It depends on the map. So we'll go with Perfumer. She is generally always good. And we'll dump the rest of her money into the future. I guess this is just a standard where you can't exactly see the stages. So that's not any different than before, because we can still see their fights. And it's just a new effect. I too lazy to translate the encounter so we'll do the fight instead. So we can see that. There's a bunch of holes here, but for some reason we can... There are normal tiles here. Does that mean that something is going to drop on there? Does that give an attack though? Yeah, it does. And the thing from CC3. Oh, we have these dudes from... An event that ran recently on CN. They can, they can hover over the house. But they have a range to attack, so they will attack any operators that will make them walk kind of slowly. Did Jaya attack him after he was in the air? I didn't play the event at CN much, so I'm not, not sure how they work. The absence of arts damage will be a bit annoying here. So it only has one defender, but it's a really tanky defender. Meaning on higher difficulties this can be a dangerous stage without any arts. Another sniper. Now get Umbrio. This replaces some buff we already had, which I assume is showing up here. Yep. The new mecha mechanics are looking kind of interesting. I'm not I can't figure out what they do just by looking at them. Oh, so that's kind of interesting. We can do all three fights at once. I kind of want to know what happens if the temperature reaches zero. I assume the, either we run out of keys and we just can't move, or it somehow makes the stage harder. Or maybe we get debuffs between, sta between floors. Like what happened with in IS-3 when you didn't have any light. So does this smoke make you invisible or does it slow your... Okay, that's just leading to here. We don't need to stop it. That kind of looks like the smoke. Yeah, it doesn't make you invisible. It slows your attack speed. This is the smoke from Emperor's Blade. That's why. It's a good assumption that it will also slow the enemy's attack speed as well.
I'm a bit unsure of when exactly they decide to run like crazy. They obviously do it at the reveal, but sometimes they do it on their own. Maybe it's after they go through a hole? That would make sense because the hole sort of has range in which it can see them. Hmm, I think we gained uh, one of the keys from something, so we won't be able to exhaust them. Well, at least we'll be able to see all the stuff the second stage. This should be a Thorn's chest, right? We'll find out in a moment. These are the civilians from chapter 12. I have zero clue how they work. Yeah, this is the Thorn's chest. They just return damage. Apparently the other chest there was... Yep, oops. It was the mimic chest. I did not notice it was different. He just turned to us, but maybe we'll get a lucky crit. No, oh, she's just attacking the barricades. Ambryo is kind of bad here. So they just need to be in range to be identified. I might just die here. From not understanding the mechanics though. Almost. Okay, so you don't want operators like Ambryo who shoot the boxes here. So we can keep the path closed. Same life system as IS-3. You can get lives back. Yay, more melee operators. I kind of want to try Homus. And this is the emergency fight. Um, let's do that one too. I want to see a bunch of fights. Okay, so this is definitely the Mimic chest. I remember that much. This tile has... Attack speed reduction out. They don't seem to be losing any attack speed, unfortunately. I should have played Gummy after Kumus for obvious reasons. The enemies feel really tanky for so early in the game. I wonder if reducing the uh, temperature. The other mechanic there makes the fight harder. Sure feels like it. Huh? 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 Huh?
が戦場というものね It's probably from not understanding the mechanics a bit, but this feels kind of hard for the normal difficulty. I can just catch the last caster. Okay, so now we'll try the opposite. We'll do... We won't use the keys and see if the enemies stay a bit easier. Now we can start with random now. I'm great. I just prefer playing with random. Otagi and Jaya being my only blocker seems unreliable, so we'll get deep cover. Let's see if we can repeat any stages we did before. Yeah, this was the one with the sheep, so we'll do the other one. How much block do these things have? Twenty block. So you're just on a timer to kill everything before they break through. Meaning, if you have something like pinecone, you just win. Funny starting stage. I like that it's actually kind of short. Short as a dragon. All the enemies seem to be really tanky, so we'll try to get a pine cone this time. And this time we'll try to increase this as much as possible and see what happens. This is the fight with the axes.
Might just be luck, but I haven't seen any ducks or bears yet. Mission accomplished. Fifteen percent physical damage. Eight to deep cover. And what's the emergency? I don't remember this stage. That's it. Oh, it's a sarcastic. Interesting puffing. I'm not sure if Jai can one view on the caster in an emergency, so we'll wait until we have enough TP for Tagi as well. Just let him fight and see if he wins. Hi. Yeah, that's only 600 damage. That's the normal damage these guys do, I think. I was expecting more from the emergency fight. Or maybe 600 was the one the elite did. Anyway, it's not enough to kill anyone, Jaya. Okay, so this stage can only be dangerous if you cannot kill the slugs. Everything else is trash on it. I'm seeing a lot of good bank on stages to be on. We'll see what we get later. More supporters is unfortunate, usually. And we'll avoid using the keys this time. We got the hope again, so we can get a caster. We have pinecone for AoE already. So we'll get Indigo. And invest a great total of one coin. I think this increases health by 50% or something I got. I'm completely guessing here though, I'm way too lazy to translate it. And I'm just assuming it's bad for us because it's red. So this part of the map can be ignored if you want to. It just leads to here. Now it's done snipers passing through there. I see. Not having anything good to block is a bit awkward for the spear dudes. If we get this on an emergency, we should probably avoid it. But it's only one spearman, so it might not be a problem. We can just shoot them with Indigo. Oh, we do first.
What's the emergency? The thing with the hostages. Yeah, I don't really know how that works, so it's probably not too safe to do for me. Since I've never bothered to play Chapter 12. And I don't know the mechanic at all. Are these frozen tiles? Let's go and check it out. Oh, you can't block them. <laughs> I shouldn't have deployed deep cover first then. Okay, so the last tile out there can be blocked. If this is killed in time, which it won't be. Oh, it just barely was. Kind of low resistance. So this stage is basically a check if you have ranged operators. I assume that's some kind of debuff we just got. This heals three lives. That's what the top option does. Since I didn't gain any extra lives. I assume I sacrificed three heat and I need to have more than three to do it to get some specific item. No idea what this does. This is the SP item, but we decided not to sacrifice these resources for this run, so we get the first one. Let's path the way that will give us the most fights. Yeah, we'll go through here. So we can see the most stages. Defense debuff tiles. A whole bunch of them, but the only blue boxes are here. Let's see why the <sighs> defense <sighs> debuff tiles matter then. Is there something we want to spawn you? <laughs> These are the suicide bombers from the age. Huh? 
俺とタイマンハルなんて肝が座ってんな I'm pretty sure this is a friendly. It passes through, right? Yeah, this is a friendly. We don't need to kill it. We'll lose a life if he dies. I should probably start blocking those bombs. Before they kill Pinecon. So some of the enemies had a red buff, but I'm not sure what triggers it. Kind of weird. Yeah, like this one here. Oh, there's one enemy sneaking in. Or I guess that is just going down. So I guess the red buff makes them really tanky, because the anchor guy that had the red buff didn't die, while well, multiple of these dudes died pretty easily. Is that a duck? Yeah. No way we're killing that. With the puffing that it has. I guess it's two step on this style. We can try to nuke it with the target there. Yeah, that won't even be close. Kind of a nasty puff. I could have probably redeployed some operators. Mm, not sure we could have killed it though. A medic is probably better, but I don't care. I want to eat two hummus. Hmm. Right, so each of these applies to specific stages. I'll translate them later and I'll explain what these things do in another video. Let's see more of the stages. That's some puffing. The stake won't go walk. Doesn't seem like it. Not sure what that's about then. Ah, 
That movement speed is nasty. So they can't rush through again. Hi. This stage seems pretty easy. Let's see, two panko. And let's go through the safe house. I wonder if there's an option that increases the temperature. So this gives three lives, three hope, or e to an operator. Jaya, because we don't have a vanguard. Oh, it's the dude from NL. So we lose three lives. We lose one hit for some reason, or we run away. Oh, let's lose three lives. We lose three lives, and then we have a fight. Yeah. So it's a bunch of shadow dudes, but they don't have the might have the, the first one. Well, the second one. For DP related reasons. So this map is a vanguard check. If you have a vanguard, you win easily. I didn't play this tempico on time. Oh, I retreat to Jaya and accident. Well, at least we're going to survive. Okay, so... It's a good idea to not do this fight without... Uh, Vanguard. Because we get rushed a lot. Probably still doable if you have a decent defender and don't have to rely on tentacles though. Doesn't seem too hard. Let's get cutter. We're going to get spammed with a bunch of spiders, right? I really want to use JS one because I'm sure there's gonna be a million spiders, but they don't have any other healing, so we'll stick with Pudenko doesn't count. Um, we'll stick with JS too. Let's see if we get killed by a billion spiders now. Interesting that they both run. 
Is it because they took damage? Oh yeah, there's the million spiders. I've been waiting for them. No dumb. Let's see how much damage it does. Decent amount. It also stuns. Damn, that was close. Okay, this map seems relatively easy. I expected more spiders. I should have deployed Pinecone there. Nice 4 seems pretty fun. I'll end it here for the first try. I'll do some attempts without commentary and I'll translate what all the stuff do and then I'll post that in a bit. Done for now.